Right, let's keep you guys updated. 181 hours, no more spend yet. And bought the uh, materials. Right, let's get into this this video. Right, guys, welcome back to Budget Mini Clubman. So we are full on into the prep now. Um, the shells, you know, every part of the shell seems some attention now. So we're getting there. Um, boot lid is what I'm going to tackle next. So. This is the bootlid that we have of Minicanics. So once again, thank you to Minicanics for donating this. Um, bit of surface corrosion to the bottom of it. So we're gonna dig into that first of all, because if we've got to do any welding, we might as well get that done first. Um, I'm hoping it's not gonna be the case. I'm hoping it can be sanded back and treated. And yeah, it's a case of DNA, DA enough the rest of the, the boot, seeing if there's any dents, any marks. And yeah, really sort of, let's just get stuck into it really. I don't think it's too bad. It doesn't look too bad. It's off a later mini, so given the age of the Clubman being nearly 40 years old, it's definitely probably got 20 years less life on it. So hopefully it should be fine. It's got to be better than what we had. So yeah, let's let's dive into this. Right, so other than a few things that I've obviously mentioned, a bit of surface corrosion at the bottom. I think this is going to be the biggest problem area. This this lot will just come out with the A. Same little model there. Um, these are the areas I'm probably going to try and sort. I don't like it when it's got loads of holes drilled. Um, I will be getting new number plates for the car, but still, I'm going to tidy them up. So, there's one, two, three, one. Why that one's so far in, I don't know. <laughs> so, six to get rid of. Obviously, there will be a boot lamp, that's your lock. Um, 50 years of mini. I might tell you when this last mini this mini was last on the road that this boot lid so yeah looking over the, the boot there, there really isn't much in a way of a dent on it i can't really find one anyway um i think it's okay so yeah i've gone over it and i think it's just the corrosion we've got to look into and um tacking in these and sort of getting rid of that so my my new my new number plates I would probably drill holes after paint, unfortunately, because I'm not going to be able to get them before paint. But yeah, um, we should be fine, I think. It, I can't work out where there'll be a factory hole, and I don't know if maybe this is an aftermarket boot lid. But going from that, I'm going to get rid of them all and start again. So I'll set you guys up. Let's get stuck in with a DA and see what we've got. Probably get rid of that sticker first, as the DA is not going to enjoy that one. But yeah, let's get stuck into it.
Right, so you saw me start off with a 180 across there. Got it out really nice. So happy with that. And then I went to 80s, just got out of the corrosion. So it's not ideal. And obviously in an ideal world, you start with a rust free uh, boot lid, but we are on a budget. And this one really isn't too bad and well worth saving. So the boot lid's obviously blue at some point, which is uh, pretty cool. I like to dig in stuff like that and find out. So the best thing about it is nothing's gone through. So all round here, round here, this was the worst bit and you actually can't feel it at all with your finger. So I'm gonna put some rust treatment on all of this. This is the worst area. And then I'm gonna go over the rest of it now with the, the DA and just get it all scotch, all sort of DA'd back, see if there's any dents. Then we we'll basically deal with the corrosion, tidy up the back quickly. And then we can look at maybe, you know, this might be the first panel sort of ready for primer. But yeah, pretty happy at that. So let's let's get cracking with it really. Let's try and get it to a sort of prepped up stage. Right, so that's the worst of all the paint and stuff off. So far, no, I've not seen a dent. Um, the slight indent where the number plate lamp used to be, maybe it's been pushed in, but I don't think you'll see that when the number plate lamp goes back on, but what I might do is get some dolphin glaze and just skimp it over. Um, yeah, it's it's in really good, Nick. Quite happy with it. Um, I'm in two minds what to do with this. I don't know if to, especially this worst bit here, I don't know if to cut that out and put a piece in, but. I'm going to go over it again with some 80s and try and get it back. All this has come back really nice. So it's just finger thrust. Unless you cut it out, it comes back. So, but yeah, the rest of the boot is really fine. Got the sticker off. I tried doing it with the heat gun, as you saw, but, yeah, it wasn't having any of it. That glue is so degraded. Um, back of the boot lid. So, the slight corrosion on the bottom there. Same there, but I've ground it back, and I'm going to treat that. But other than that, I mean, I've just slightly started sanding off the inside. Not bad at all. Quite happy with it. It will do. So, yeah, so piece of getting on some repairs now. What I'm going to do is we're going to leave some rust treatment on it, see how I feel about it after that's done its job, and then I'll make a decision, I think. But I've got to get the welder out anyway, so I'm going to weld up all these holes, and that needs grinding back. So, I've got to cut a little piece out and put a piece in. It's going to be no biggie. So, yeah, see how we get on, I guess. Right, so it's the next day. Um, I let all the rust cure do its job. It seems to turn everything black that I needed to. Um, I then prepared the surface and I've got some etch primer on there now. So hopefully that will keep things at bay. It's lovely and smooth along here. It might just need a very, very minor, minor skimp with some sort of fine filler, but it is really nice. Um, I'm gonna turn my attention to these now. So I have one, two, three. And then, for some reason, not even in the same places there, but another three there. I'm gonna get rid of them. Um, and then, yeah. I know you won't see it, because my number plate will sort of be there and cover it again, but in my eyes, yeah, let's just get rid of it. So, here, yeah, next point of call is get the welder out, and let's weld it up. So there we have it, those holes welded up, nice and smooth. Gonna require a little bit of sanding just to even out the, the paint a bit, but that's that done. Like I say, you won't see any of that behind there anyway, but I'm gonna get it nice. Um, you probably saw me then struggling once again with my welder, um, probably because it wouldn't earth out very well. I should probably cleared a bit of paint off so it could um, arc out, but at 
also I didn't clean the paint off on the back so that's burnt very nicely so rookie error there but like I say I do try to show my errors as well um, yeah the bottom of the boot is really really good that's all being cleaned back and primed so obviously I'll clean this lot back behind here now um, and then we'll get to tidying this up a bit more Right, so we are getting somewhere. Holes welded up, area filled. I've literally found my new best thing, this dolphin glaze stuff. Um, I've used, I had some left out of an old tube and I've used some on the A panels of the car and it's worked wonders. And there's a very, very minor, almost like I say, like a numb plate lamp's being shoved in a little bit. It was just, I know the numb plate lamp would have probably covered it. Probably wouldn't have seen it. Um, but that is, this stuff sounds so nice. It's so nice stuff, such nice stuff to use. There's a bit more work to do here. Um, and a bit where I've sort of cleaned back some surface rust here. And sort of light, light skimp a bit there, but oh my God, it's such decent stuff. Forget how good it is. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. That is pretty much <laughs> sorted. But yeah, we're getting there. Next step, get some polite, scrape across there um, and then try and get this in some sort of filler primer and then we can move forward with it really but I'm really happy with it so far it's going really well right I think that pretty much brings this episode to a close boot lid is probably my first panel now that's ready for a bit of bit of primer some proper primer so I'm quite happy at that I think it's gone pretty well um, yeah I think get some get this is the first panel that's ready like I say some primer We'll get some quite heavy filler primer on it, um, or high build primer if you want to phrase it. And we'll go from there really. Um, the bits and pieces that I have repaired, so number plate lamp area and number plate, you're not gonna see if I don't get it perfect, but I do want to try and get it the best I can. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. So one panel ready for primer. Um, next step will be get the bonnet a bit closer, I guess. And obviously I've got to repair my doors yet, but um, before I finish this episode, what I'll do is I'll just take you for a quick wander around the car and some areas that I've had a bit of issues with, um, mainly the, the quarter really on the passenger side. Someone's repaired it already and I've, I've really struggled to get it smooth. Um, but I'll, I'll just quickly show you where I'm up to on that and then you'll see the lengths I'm going to to try and get it straight. Um, but other than that, we are getting there. This bodywork thing is, I've not filmed everything, I don't want to because I'm really getting quite, I'm struggling with it and I'm getting quite tired of it if I'm honest. Um, there's a lot of work that goes into it and when you pay these thousands and thousands of pounds for a body shop to do it this is the reason why it doesn't happen overnight guys you know you really have to work it there's a few people out there storing minis on youtube and other cars i watch those different channels and it's not it's not quick easy work and all of this depicts how good your end product looks so yeah obviously bear that in mind if i was to film everything i'm doing right now you'd have like three weeks of just sanding a car um i'm nearly 10 days into it now 10 full days sanding and prepping a car um i'm not professional at it i mean i, I say four days I, I say four to five hours a day i'm doing that so you know you're, you're well into the 20 hours um at the moment and all i've done is da it and start repairing lumps and bumps basically so yeah it doesn't happen overnight guys so i'll show you this quarter that i'm having a bit of issues with and yeah well i'll show you the how i'm going to try and get out of this hole so we're not just put this back and you guys can come for a wonder. So this looks a bit weird. So of this panel here has been put in. If you remember, you got that and that I got for the other side, but I just took used the inside piece and bought a whole new quarter. Previous persons put this section in and they welded it all the way along there and don't get me wrong, you know, it's a good it's a good enough repair, but it's just not right. Um, this might look really good um, on camera, but right, running my hands over it, there's a definite lump there where it's not quite right. Um, it even needs to smooth out a bit more there or smooth out that way, both ways probably. Um, but I've managed to get it pretty close all the way along here. Um, 
what is this is filler primer and then this is just a black spray paint used as a guide coat sort of dusted on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sand it again and obviously where the black will stay will show me my low points um again i've learned this from working at a few body shops and watching youtube and watching paintwork stuff so i'm hoping this sorts out the issue um there's like i say there's an area there and an area this end that i'm mainly concerned with but i want to get it somewhere close to so the priming you know sort of works out a bit better um all the way down here there's a few dents so all of this is really good i'm really quite happy with it there you go you can see this see the um bit of dust there but i've used some of that dolphin glaze on this and it's really really got most of it out but it's just not gonna look right main thing i have checked the window fits in the aperture so i have checked that so we are okay there it just needs to be a bit smoother so a bit more work to be had but that's how i'm sort of resolving a lot of my issues i'm getting things closer so like i've sanded a piece there resolved that the a panels i'm really happy with the wings are perfect um i've just done a little bit more work to the engine bay so i've actually primed the engine bay there's a little dink there i think it's a factory dink but i've knocked it back out previously before i did the inside painting and just a very light skin for filler um but i think the engine bay to be fair is pretty much done done what you guys think but i'm not going any further with it it's all going to get covered up when the car gets built so that's me done on that respect i think uh there's a little dink in there again that's sorted um this is where i did my repair if anyone has wondered how it's turned out there's a very 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 small just to bring the, the profile completely back layer of dolphin glaze there but it is I'm really happy with that. So you can see where I've been priming it. Prim like, I'm working out how it looks with primer on it before even going for full filler primer. So I'm using it out of a rattle can when I think I've got pretty close. And then going from there again, all this is really good. I know this is here isn't smooth from a factory finish, but let's face it, the car's not factory now. But I've seam welded that instead of just tacking it, which it would have been. So I've just smoothed it off and I think it looks really nice. It looks really uniform. Um, all the way down here it's gone really well there's a few little areas i sort of want to go over again but we're getting there the rest of the skull is really really good so we're getting there right guys so that does bring the little boot lid restoration i guess to a close um next point of call well like i say i'm going to sort of line up all the panels get them all as far as i can possibly get them by uh, eyeballing it and sorting out work and dents and things like that any defects to the point i think i'll put some primer on that so i'm gonna get the whole all the panels and the shell ready for that primer is on order should be here soon um but obviously if covid19 things are slowing up a little bit which is unfortunate um but yeah i want to get everything ready i can't i can only work as fast as the post work and i can only work as far as i'm not at work so yeah, I think I've just got to take my time with it. Um, I've got to update the board. 181 hours, it says there. I'm definitely into the one, I think one, one I worked it out on my phone. I've got the log on my phone. So 196, I think I'm on now. So, yeah, we're getting in nearly 200 hours of work. And that's from start to finish, guys. So on and off throughout my life and work. And last, well, I think October, I really started the car. So it's not too bad when you look at it like that. So, yeah, I'm going to sign out. If you haven't already, Please consider subscribing to our channel. Me and James have got loads and loads of content coming for you guys. We've also got some quite big plans that we're trying to achieve. So with you, your guys' support, we're going to be able to get there with them. Um, it's quite exciting, really. So we're, quite, we're going to be quite happy to bring it to you guys as well. So we're working on it. We're working behind the scenes. We're used and taking advantage of things being not on and closed to our full advantage for this channel to bring you the best content. So we are working on a few things. So please stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't. Um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Comment below if you don't like bodywork either. Um, but it is a necessary part, and let's face it, this is a big test car for me. So if there's a few lumps and bumps on it painted, I'll do all of it at a later date. Um, or I can also paint a panel again, can't I? So it's not going to be the end of the world. I've just got to keep pushing forward. All right, brew time, as you can see. Where is it? There it is. Um, brew time, so catch you next one, guys.